Hello you. Today's episode is all about shapes and colors. As an artist, I think about shapes and colors a whole lot. In fact, shapes and color fill almost every day. So I'd like to explore together some of the shapes and colors in our world. Colors are everywhere. It's fun to discover and group things by their color. Can you find all the things on this page that are red? Here we go. I'll give you a minute. Do you see the strawberry and the apple that are red? Can you find all the things on this page that are green? Like a tree? And do you see the frog? Can you find all the things on this page that are orange? There's a crab and a pumpkin. Can you find them? Now, can you find all the things on this page that are yellow? There's a star that's yellow and a chick. One last color. Can you find all the things on this page that are blue? Take a minute. Do you see the blueberries and the whale? Great job. Now it's time to draw, y'all. What's important to remember is that a shape is simply an outline of an object. There are many shapes. Today, we're going to use four shapes to create three different drawings. The shapes we're gonna use are a circle, a triangle, a square, and a rectangle. So let's learn about these shapes. A circle. A circle is a round shape and it has no corners at all. A triangle has three sides and three corners. A square has four sides that are exactly the same and four corners. And finally, a rectangle has four sides that are not all the same. They're different lengths, but they have four corners. So let's use two circles, two rectangles, and one triangle to draw a bird. Begin by drawing two circles. Next, two long rectangles on the bottom of your circle. Finally, add a triangle for the beak. Now color in your bird however you wish. I chose blue. Now, let's use three squares, one rectangle, and one triangle to draw a house. Begin by drawing one big square. Next, draw a triangle on top of that square. That's the roof. On the inside of our big square, draw two small squares on the top left and right hand side and a rectangle below. You've just made the windows and the door. Now color in your house, however you wish. I chose purple. Now let's use a rectangle, a square, and two circles to draw a truck. First, begin by drawing one big rectangle. That's the big part of the truck. Next, draw the square to the right of your rectangle. That's the cab at the front, the cab of the truck. Next, and finally, draw two circles on the bottom half of your rectangle. Now, color in your truck however you like. I chose yellow. Now, I'd love for you to take these shapes, the circle, the triangle, the square, and the rectangle and have fun creating your own drawings using those shapes as the base for creating lots of different things. Have fun. Now it's time to play a game of connect the dots. Before we start, let's review our numbers one through 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
Now let's connect these dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yippee! It's a big red barn. Let's play on the farm. Now remember, you can play this game of finding color in your world all day and every day. Look around and identify all the different colors in your world. You rock.